Hello and welcome to Overleaf. This short introductory video is going to show you how to create, edit and share your research online very quickly and very easily. It's really simple to get started. You can either head to our template gallery to check out over a thousand different templates and examples. You can sign up for an account if you want to upload your own template to get started or you can just hit create a new paper right from the home page to head straight into Overleaf. The first time you create a paper on Overleaf, you'll see our tutorial screen. You can either run through this tutorial or you can close it and view it later by going to the help menu. Now that we're in the Overleaf editor, I can simply type my paper on the left hand side of the screen and see it update automatically on the right according to the template I chose at the start. I can also edit the latex source directly simply by clicking this button in the top left. And if I need to add extra files to my project, such as extra images or extra style files, I can upload them directly from the project menu. Now's a good time to sign up for an Overleaf account if you don't already have one, or you can simply sign in and you'll be taken straight back to your project when you've done so. It's also really easy to work with others on Overleaf. Simply share the unique URL for this project with them and they'll be able to edit at the same time as you and we'll merge the changes seamlessly in the background. Before sharing your paper with your collaborators, it's a good idea to save a version in the versions menu. This means that when they make some changes, such as adding some text to the bulk of the paper, or if they leave you a comment in rich text mode, maybe asking you a question, you can use the compare menu in the editor to see those changes that they've made. Areas of text that have been changed are highlighted in blue and you can see the exact text that's been added in green and if any text is deleted then it shows up as red on the right. When you finish reviewing these changes simply hit the compare button to return back to the normal editor. Once you've completed your work you could submit it to one of a number of different destinations through our partnerships with publishers, journals and repositories or if it's just for yourself you can download as a PDF or share it further via the share menu. That's about it for this introductory tutorial. If you'd like to check out some of the more advanced options, click the gear icon in the top right of the editor where you can change the spell check language, you can change the LaTeX build engine, and you can change the preview format. You can also use the help menu in the top right to find out more and to search our help and FAQs. And if you have any feedback, please get in touch. We'd love to hear from you.